Thank you guys for clicking on the video. I am Sully, and today, fellas, we're going to get into Hockey Story. I'm brushing the dust off this series, and I'm bringing it back for the kids in Beijing. And we're going to do McDonough's Hockey Story because of the stadium series. And they're playing tonight, so I thought, why not do his story? It's a very long story. It definitely, uh, it's a long one, so buckle up. We're going to get all into the nitty-gritty why he's a Rangers fan. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to try my best. Some words I'll skip over uh, just because I can't pronounce them or pronounce them correctly. And also, uh, I want to make it flow as best as I can. So let's jump into McDonough's pocket story. As you, of course, know I am a Rangers fan. I am 18 years old. He turned 18 in December, so happy birthday, McDonough. I root for four sports teams and haven't won, haven't seen a damn championship. I've had high hopes for the year the Rangers won the Eastern Conference, which was two years ago. They were so exciting to watch. I went to a few games, and the atmosphere is amazing in MSG, and I would never want my team to play anywhere else. So the playoffs began, and I was so excited for the first game. I remember complete domination by the Rangers. Everything went right and won 4-2 against the Suns. But, however, they eventually ended up trailing in the series 3-2 after stellar play by Craig Anderson. I just felt defeated and was so upset. And to make it even worse, the Sens went into the first period with a 1-0 lead. Then came the second period. And I never seen so much heart from a team that was down and couldn't score, lighting up the Sens for three goals and going on to win 3-2. Then Game 7 came, and I knew there was no way they were going to lose. They didn't, but they did not make it easy and had to make me sweat like always. But then came the Caps, who beat the Rangers two times in a row in, in the playoff series, and I felt intimidated. I know you are a Caps fan, and I don't mean to offend you, but Game 5 came, and it was one of the most frustrating games of my life. I felt like the Rangers did everything right and outshot the Caps 33-19 and till the final minute of play. Uh, trailed 2-1 and then Joel Ward took a four minute penalty that I remember very vividly but before that I had the most negative attitude ever calling my team all these bad words that I will not say and losing my composure then all of a sudden I see off the face off Callahan swiping at the loose puck in front of Holtby and I thought it went in but then I saw the puck bounce to Richard Stick and somehow elevate the puck over Holtby and into the net through Carlson's arms that was the best game as a Rangers fan I've ever watched till this day. That that still gives me goosebumps. I remember my reaction jumping around like a maniac in my house enjoying the game. And then my confidence boosted. Then Mark Stahl scored on the second power play in OT just before it expired. Till this day, I will never forget that. It will be my favorite Ranger moment in the moment. The heart and the fight in that team was amazing. And then, of course, came the Devils. And I was... I know, and I felt a, a target on our back from the 1994 goal. I always felt intimidated thinking they wanted revenge. The Rangers started the series strong, but leading the series 2-1, then they put themselves in a must-win game six by losing two straight games. Two straight games. I lost my place. Two straight. I just had it. Oh, the Rangers started the series 2-1, then they put themselves in a must-win game. Six by losing two straight games, and their and their start to Game Six was just awful. It was just terrible. Trailing 2-0 going into the third, but I didn't give up and kept watching. It was so hard to watch after seeing them play like crap the whole period. Then the second period came, and I did see a different team I hadn't seen all series. It was the Rangers from then doing everything right and trying to score and trying oh and everything right and tying the game at two. And the third began. The Rangers could not score after complete domination. Brodor stood on his head. Then the opening seconds of overtime, which will haunt me for the rest of my life. I don't even remember what happened because it happened so fast. And all I heard from Doc was, Henrik, it's over. I was hurt in the game. After that game, didn't sleep well for the next week. I was absolutely devastated. Devastated to play with so much heart and lose. That was our year, I kept saying to myself. And then after the season, the Rangers were never the same team. It's something I miss and will never forget. And sorry for the long story. Just never really talked to anyone about this. Thanks for reading. Well, oh man, that is definitely a uh, that is definitely a lot to take in. But 
Uh, McDonough is quite the fan. I will say on Twitter, he definitely goes hard in the paint for his team. And, um, you know, I think we all, I think for me, I remember that game that McDonough's talking about, the two, uh, the four minute double minor by Joel Ward that essentially cost the Caps the series, I think. And, you know, that game was really intense. I know that series that he's talking about where I think they had like a triple overtime. Um, and it's a good series, and my thoughts about New York, and I, I'm going to dive a little bit into this, is um, New York is a solid team, but what I feel that they, they're sort of like the Caps, you know, they have that, the Caps have that dominant score, so is New York and Rick Nash, but New York has something that the Caps don't, which is a goaltender, but they're, they're a good team, I just think they're personally a little bit overrated, I think that New York Anyways, I don't want to get into it, but I'm just going to say real quickly that New York is what makes them attractive for these stadium series. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, I think, you know, one thing is that that I really draw from McDonough's story that I felt myself is the fans have this unique desire to want the team to win, like with everything that's in them. Like when I watch the Caps in the playoffs, there is everything that I, I just want them to win. And... Sometimes I feel like fans want the team more to win than the players themselves. And I think fans, we think that, but I don't think that's really true. But I understand your frustration. You're like screaming, you're rooting, and you want them so badly to win, and they just can't. And you're like, what's the problem? You can't put the puck in the net, or you a player can't make a great pass, or I appreciate your uh, frustration. So I hope you guys enjoyed this hockey series. Um, hockey my story it's how basically for my subscribers like I said it's a chance for you guys to write to me let me know how you became a fan of this great game tell me your story whether it's through playing whether it's like McDonough watching the team whatever it is if it's a connection to hockey and how you became a fan write a story out in, on the inbox or and message it to me on YouTube my only request is that here's the thing guys however you write it is how I will read it so if I sound like an idiot to the viewers, that's not me. That's the person who wrote it. So make sure you put some time into it. I will get to it. I want to finish up these other YouTubers. And then I may, if, you, if you're a YouTuber and you submit it, I just may scale it, you know, just delay it. Because this is for my subscribers. This is a way to get back and interact with my subscribers. So, hope you guys enjoyed the day. Take care. I'm Sully. And for the kids in Africa, have a great day.